yo what's up how you doing all right so in this section of the video we are going to be working on our comment section meaning we are going to allow users to be able to comment on the post allow them to comment on the post so yeah we can go on that writing blah 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 yeah click on comments then yep we should be able to have the user that commented and then the comment data here so hopefully if you're hyped for this video please make sure you like and subscribe and let's get started also make sure to watch the end all right thank you all right what's up how you doing so I want to go ahead and make uh, future um create. I believe I can use create comment, so that is okay. Create comment, async, and um, yeah. So this this, this create comment here is going to accept an ID as expected. They want to go ahead and have a try and catch. They want to have try and catch. They are gonna do print e dot to string to string. All right, good. So. The same thing as usual, like we do for everything, is loading should be true. Then I want to go ahead and look at the URL for the comment. I believe it's um, okay, comment then the feed ID. Okay, so we are going to use uh, data. So once you pass in our data, so this is body actually. So body should be equals to oh, sorry, uh, I think I'm missing something. Okay, so this should be body here. Yeah. So we're passing an ID on your body. So this body here is what we are going to pass in, which is going to be body from our database. Uh, let me check if this body we are accepting actually. Okay, good. So we are accepting a body. So once that is done already, we can now go ahead and do bar um request a response from um, anyone. Await http dot http dot post. So we want to post to our URL, which is um URL. We are going to pass it. Then our URL is going to be URL feed comment ID exactly what we need. I believe so. So we want to have feed comment then ID. Good. And then we want to go ahead and have our header. This header I should have just created as a variable rather than me copying and pasting every time. But this is the uh, beginner tutorial, so we can go ahead and just do it like this. All right, so I can go ahead and have this here. Then lastly, I can go ahead and have the body, which is the data there. Now I'm going to do going to do a um, request. So this request here, I want to check if it's a two hundred or a two hundred one. Um, which is okay, which is a two hundred one here. So as you can see, so we're going to do a request of status code is two hundred one. The loading should be false. Print it out. So so um okay, yeah, I want to do that. Okay, exactly what this is exactly what we need. Else we don't want to return anything. So we can go ahead and save this. Nice. But once this is saved already, I was trying to look at something, but it does no, it's not it's not gonna matter now. So what I can do now is do async and I can go ahead and do await post controller dot create comment and um we have an error for some reason. I should read it. It says what is this saying? Two position argument expected by zero for, zero for one. Why is it? How did you find zero? Oh, yeah, we don't need to. This is passing as a map, something like that. We don't need to do this. So we can just use this instead. So we want to have our feed and our ID, which is that already. So we can save this actually. So we can go ahead and test this out. So what I can do, I can let me just go ahead and auto start so to start everything from scratch. So let's auto start. And also have oh, I used to forget to fix the login this and so we'll do we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. So uh let's get our comments here and let's do yes, I will subscribe. Now let's get it comments, then you can see we have the message sources. Basically, it has it, it has worked actually. So now if you go ahead and click on now you see we have our, our comment here so first we want to do is um this comment here want to clarify it then 
we now want to go ahead and call this here we want to record that particular um function so that it will refresh the stuff that we um, the, refresh the this query that we wrote to get this thing to get our comments which is at the top also so we are going to need that again now if you should uh, let's just go back let's pick another one and let's say hopefully it works okay now you can get that it's comment so once you comment you can see now we have our comment show hopefully it works and the name of the person that commented all right you can see this is actually very simple it's not didn't take a long a long time so if you like this video please make sure you like and subscribe see you next time next time we are going to work on the like system on our forum all right see you next time peace